next up, we have the next dimension modular 3D printer. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Emily Pyatt, and I'm with The Next Dimension. And we're changing the way the world sees large format 3D printing. So I'm going to tell you this morning just about one example that helped to shape our idea. Uh, so since 2010, about 14% of the world's coral reefs have been lost. And this has a large impact on ocean life. But luckily, there have been material companies that have been stepping up to create easily printable materials that can be used to print replacement coral reef structures. Um, unfortunately, the uh, machines that these material companies have are small, and um, they're designed for material testing alone. So um, they can't really scale up to the size they need. Uh, so this image is of one of the largest coral reef sections that's been printed so far, and it's actually done in 220 individual pieces. So as you can imagine, it's um, very difficult for them to put all this together. There's a lot of time involved, as well as a lot of time for the printing itself. Um, so that's where our idea comes in. So our idea is modular 3D printing, printers that can grow with your business. Um, so our base machine size is a one meter cubed volume. So it really gets um, people's foot in the door for large format printing. It gets them used to the process. And then it, we can expand it in any direction over time. So it's an easier price point for companies to swallow if um, they're just getting started in the large format printing. Um, just because this manufacturing process is a completely different way to think about manufacturing. It's additive versus subtractive. It's a lot different. So there's a big learning curve. A lot of the companies that we, we have worked with for large format printing in the past, um, they're creating very intricate and complex designs for their customers. So they don't want a one size fits all solution for their printers. Um, they want something that can grow with them. They want to be able to do material testing, do prototyping, and then expand as they get larger jobs. Um, actually, a lot of the small custom mold makers, custom tooling makers that we've worked with, even if we can prove we would save them thousands of dollars, they don't want the million dollar price tag that a lot of these large format machines are at. Um, they want to be able to adopt it over time. So instead of adopting it, they're just not doing it yet. So it's not that they're not interested in the, in the industry, they just don't want to pay that large price tag up front. So this kind of leads into um, the reasons for lost sales in large format in the past few years. The, the largest reason has really been company flexibility, and that's flexibility of the additive company and the machines they're making. They're not able to deliver all the options and the machine size that these companies want. So instead of settling, these companies are just not adopting the technology right now. Um, so market opportunity, if you look at the additive market in general, it's expected to be over $117 billion by 2029. And large for format printing is just a very small portion of this. And that's, again, because companies have been very slow to adopt this very expensive technology. So how is the next dimension different? Um, we're a cost-effective solution because we're starting at a smaller machine size. So um, we're able to provide the small machine that material testers need and prototyping needs, and then they can upgrade it over time as their business grows. Um, we're also very focused on a print platform. We're 100% um, focused, like printing is all we do. So um, if a company needs us to print parts for them, we can print parts for them. We can build them a custom size machine. If they just need an extruder um, to put on an existing machine that they have, or they want an extra axis of motion, they want to use a robotic arm, we can work with them on that as well. So we're um, very focused on helping large format printing succeed. And we want to help companies adopt it however we can. So who's the team? It's, uh, I'm Emily, and my business partner is Vince Sprague. And between the two of us, we have about 20 years experience in additive manufacturing and um, about five years experience in large format additive manufacturing, which has only existed since 2014. Um, in addition to that, I have my master's in additive manufacturing and am working on my PhD focused in large format. So this is the industry we're very focused in. We want to see it succeed. And we're really the experts in this field because it hasn't existed for very long. Um, what are we asking for today? Um, 
more than anything, we just need connections and advice on how to be successful. Um, we're very new to starting our own business. Uh, we also, our timeline for um, our project is we want to build a prototype by the end of Q1 next year. And we have some space to build that prototype, probably not enough space to build a full scale prototype. So um, we could use space. And also we wanna learn more about um, getting IP on our idea so, so that we can really own our idea. So thank you for your time today and I can answer any questions you have. Very nice, Emily. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So the middle one was the core unit. So that would be expanded. Um, the one on the right was a design that starts with a larger extruder. Um, so uh, as you grow up in size, you need a larger extruder to be able to have the throughput that you need. Um, so the larger extruder needs a lot more support to be able to hold it. Yeah. Okay. Does anybody else have any questions for Emily? Um, I have a question for you. So yeah. as because these are modular and you expect your customers to grow over time, how would you support them over time? Like, how do you see that business working? Right. So um, what we're thinking right now is, you know, we warranty our machine when we first send it out. And then as they purchase upgrades, we'll warranty the upgrades and then they can. So basically they're re-warranting their machine as we upgrade it. Okay. So it would be an additional year when they do the upgrades. Okay. So you're in it with them for yeah. the long haul. Yeah it's, yeah. A, yeah. it's really a journey with the customer. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Yep.